this is his, this is a, his uh, live rig. Um, not much has changed in about the last two years with it. Um, it's custom audio electronics Bradshaw rig. Using a Texas Ranger here, kind of gives us a low mid-range boost. We're not using the fuzz face anymore, but I kind of dig the way it looks. So I just keep it in there. Uh, there's also his cord tuner. There's a Chandler uh, uh, SDE2 digital delay. And down here we've got a Klon Centaur pedal, an Emma discombobulator, a Boss Octave, which is an OC2 pedal, and we have a Hughes and Kettner Rotosphere. At the bottom of this, we have um, Custom Audio Electronics Super Tremolo. We have the 2x4 audio controller, which is opening and closing all the effects loops. Your input's here. This is to the wah-wah pedal. This is to our secondary drum send. These are to our two uh, amplifier sends off to the side. If you look uh, behind us here, and this is the foot controller, and we just set it up for whatever patch we want to have going. Today we're using 10, which is to uh, the tuner, and which turns on the Diaz, a Soldano, and a small little amp we've got here. We've got a little small Fender amp, like a Blues Junior, using a Ernie Ball volume pedal and an original Crybaby Wah Wah pedal. Uh, and that's basically the setup that we use here in the studio. The, the amps are uh, uh, underneath a a baffle here there's a small fender amp in here and we're kind of using that just to feed it towards warm but it also that's one of the sounds we're getting uh, in the studio just a small little fender amp that's running off of what would normally be the drum send and if you want to come back in the other room we'll look at uh, his other amp. and this is his live black Soldano this is the main Soldano we use live um, we're running this into an isolation box into a Fender 412 Tone Master cabinet. Uh, this is what we normally use live as the dry, overdriven sound. We've cleaned it up a little bit from where we normally run it. It's not quite as dirty sounding. Usually it's, uh, it's more of, a, of an overdriven, marshally kind of tone, if I can use that term. Uh, here we're keeping it just a little bit cleaner. Than we would live. It's still running as loud as we ever run it live. And on the other side of this is the Diaz head. Uh, we're running that into a Marshall, the, the the usual Marshall 412 cabinet that we use on the road. So this this is a another another situation where we're running a little bit cleaner than we normally run it. Uh, we're using a bass cut on it for a few songs, and this one's pumping out into this room. So this is a little bit more open. It's got a reverb built into it. It's a little bit more of, a, of an open, livelier sound. The Soldano is a little bit more of a, a compressed, dirtier sound. And if you look back to your right over here, in this box right here, this is what we've got the uh, Tone Master 412 cabinet in. And we just got it isolated. Kind of dries it up a little bit. Trying something a little bit different this time. Normally, we would run both 412s into a big live room. And that would be Warren's, uh, Warren's rig for this session. And so far, it's been running great. We're having a good time, and the boys are sounding phenomenal.